what's up guys and gals welcome back to another video thank you guys so much for all the comments that y'all did on the last video that joint was crazy i really appreciate it let's get right into this story time i have for you guys today this story time that i have for you guys today is about me and my friend we took two girls to the movies now i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not a scary type of movie watcher but they wanted to watch a scary movie now let me tell y'all i don't i'm not scared of of most things most real things like people you know anything that could hurt me normally i'm usually not scared of anything like that but when it comes down to like you're telling me an uh, object that is not real or somebody that's not real that is like literally I, if i throw a punch it's just gonna go through them yeah i'm not really about any of that uh that stuff so when it comes down to this it was definitely a, a doozy of a time so this was back in middle school. Now, you guys may remember the guy who I'm talking about. He's been in different uh, videos as well that I've talked about. We'll name him. His name's Timo. So Timo and me decided that we were going to take these two girls out to the movies on the weekend because it's the end of the end of the week. And we're like, OK, we could take them out and, you know, have have fun and stuff like that. So we don't have any motor transportation, as you would say. So I have to politely ask my mom politely ask her if she would take me and timo to the movies and i would see if my father could pick me up at the end of the day now the movie started around maybe give or take 9 30 so we really didn't get out until like 11 30 almost 12 o'clock now my mom agrees to do that and she takes us and both of us get in the car and we head off to the movies now once we got to the movies we decided that we weren't just gonna go straight in like normal people and pay full price because you remember we're middle schoolers we only got a little bit of money of that our parents gave us so we decided that we were going to go across the street to the town center that is right next to it and we were going to go to the town center and we we're going to this amazing store now some of y'all may know this store because most of y'all who go to the movies who are on a budget know exactly where you want to go and that is the the dollar tree the dollar tree is like the one the most amazing place to go it's like you go in there m me and Tima walk in and we just feel like we are bawling we feel like we have the most money out of everybody there now we probably didn't but you know how it is you go in the dollar tree you can just buy three boxes of sour candy they buy some drinks we were buying everything so me and him decide that we're gonna buy all the drinks and snacks here so we wouldn't have to pay for most of it inside we only have to pay for like popcorn or something like that if you know if we had to or whatever if they wanted if they wanted any popcorn now i don't do popcorn i do nachos and stuff like that so if i was gonna get something it'd be nachos but we get it from the the dollar store and we decide to go all the way we walk all the way back it takes like a 10 minute walk all the way back to the movies now once we get to the movies the girls are now here we're now talking to the girls the girls are we've got i give them a seven eight you know we were we were young back then seven eight you know they were they were a seven to eight on the scale of one to ten so we get in there and we have to now pay for the tickets now as gentlemen we decide that you know we're gonna pay for our tickets and they pay for theirs i'm joking i'm joking we're not <laughs> we didn't actually do that we we pay for both of our tickets see i paid for one of the girls tickets and he paid for the other girls ticket and we got inside you know one of them wanted popcorn timo's girl wanted popcorn so we were like okay we got her popcorn and stuff like that and we were all good we went into the movie now i'm not a hundred percent because of how back then it was i'm not 100 percent sure of what movie it was now i do remember that it was like an old lady basically with no face you know how it goes uh going through the tv tv twitching and all that stuff and it was in an old house and you know basically the family was moving back in i guess the dad was military and stuff like that and had ptsd or whatever now some of y'all may know the movie i'm not 100 percent sure what the movie's name was but we watched that movie and now as i would say when we started watching the movie most team timo and his girl you know how the girls would cuddle up with you and be all scared and stuff like that that's exactly what timo's girl's doing she's being all she's being all scared you know wanting to hold on to him and everything like that now me on the other hand i told you guys i was not a scary movie type of guy so when i heard when the scary movie timed on now it's basically she's holding me now now it wasn't one of my strongest moments in my life, okay? And now, but I had to do what I had to do. I was holding on to her for dear life, okay? I, I don't vibe with scary joints, and I was like, hey, 
it was an L for, it wasn't an L for me because you know I still got the holder, but you know at the same time she was holding me technically. But um, after that, after that, you know, I would say that would be like, oh yeah, that's it, you know, that's set, this that's how bad it got. But no, because I am. I am a little teenage boy at that time. I'm not really thinking about how loud I am either. So every time something's happening, I'm like, oh, shoot. Is she dead? Or, oh, like, like I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out on the ground and stuff like that. One time I actually did get on the ground and just lay there. I was like, yeah, bro, I ain't vibing with this joint. Like, it was it was one of those. I don't. I did not vibe with scary stuff back then. Now I could tolerate it definitely more than I could before, but it definitely was not one of my best moments ever so we watched a movie it was like a two hour movie and we get done around eleven thirty and stuff like that so now we're trying to figure out you know the girls got to get a ride home they're they're outside but me and timo's parents uh they didn't really know too much about where we are other than my dad was supposed to come pick us up so i called my dad my dad answers and he's like oh i'll come get you all right now and uh Basically, we decide that we're going to walk over to the Safeway because, you know, uh, we're not trying to stay at the movie theater again. So we go to the we go to the Safeway. Now, I'm we're sitting in the Safeway just chilling. I probably buy some snacks or whatever. And I text my dad that we're at Safeway. Now, he gets upset. He's like, what? At Safeway? Why are you at Safeway? You just told me you were at the movie theater. So why are you lying? Like, he was getting mad. I was like, whoa, 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 lying. Whoa, whoa. I was at the movie theater. I just... Me and Timo decided to walk over here to the Safeway so we could just, you know, chill out because you can't just stand in the movie theater the whole time. And, you know, he was a little upset that we didn't move that far, even though it's like barely a 15 minute walk. But I get it because you're a teenager and you're definitely a young black kid. You know, he was trying to make sure that, you know, he was sa- I was safe and stuff like that. Now, the moral of the story, as I would say for this one, is uh, don't go to the movies with me, okay? Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't. Uh, the moral of the story is, you know, if you're not into scary movies, hey, I'm with you with that. You know, it's not that we won't watch it. We just don't vibe with it. You know, and if it's for a girl, we gotta do what we gotta do. Definitely, if you're uh, if you're a guy, just don't uh, hold her like I did, you know, or don't let her hold you like I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, story time. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's keep it pushing.